One of the things they don't tell you about DoorDash when you sign up for it, some of this food reeks. This shrimp smells like sh What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike. Uh, first off, I want to thank uh, all 846 uh, returning subscribers. I woke up this morning, and it looks like I've been approved for the YouTube Partnership Program. I still got some next steps I got to reach, but uh, step one is complete. We are a YouTube partner. We got to head on over to the post office. Again, we got two packages today. Package one, it is a Green Bay Packers hoodie, size 3X. Sold that for about $30. And then we got this big boy here. That is a... Casio keyboard model SA76 that also sold for about $30. Um, and that's being shipped out today. So let's head over to the post office, get this stuff dropped off, and uh, maybe head out to a little dash and a little talk. Let's have some fun. All right, the goods are dropped off at the post office. Uh, we're going to get this dash started in a second here. I actually thought it was kind of crazy. I have sold and uh, sent out over 1,400 packages since starting eBay part-time uh, one year and nine months ago. I still remember when I first started out on eBay, I'm like, oh, I'll be happy if I can, you know, maybe sell a couple items here or there, maybe make an extra $100, and it just took off. I do have some unfortunate news about DoorDash. I mean, it just depends how you look at it. I've fallen even lower in my acceptance rate, I have now plummeted all the way down to, I believe, a 47% acceptance rate. So I'm no longer even in the tiered system. I'm in the bottom bottom of the barrel still heading down. Uh, I'm just turning down horrible orders that just don't make sense to me. All right, guys. Oh, my gosh. It's at 45% my acceptance rate. So even worse than I thought. But I'm not concerned. And let's get the uh, let's get the oobs fired up. There we go. Let's get this show on the road. Let's make some money. Anything. I go out early because I want to, you know, dash as much as I can during the daytime. The problem is, is when you start dashing. Like right now, it's three twenty-two in the late afternoon. We have about two and a half hours of actual light now. And that makes it difficult to make money while it's still light outside. And then we end up having uh, daylight savings. So you're going to be dashing in the dark whether you want to or not. You know, DoorDash, they have, you know, pick up and deliver food. They have shop and deliver grocery items. I think I have figured out DoorDash's new opportunity for all of us dashers out there. What do you guys think of this? It's shop, cook, and deliver. So now for $4, you can head to your local store for your customer, do the entire shopping for their order. You then head over to their house cook their food in their, their kitchen for them, and then deliver it to their snack tray or kitchen table where they can eat food. Oh, what we got here? The charcoal grill and rotisserie. Nope. $7.75 to go 11 miles. No, absolutely not. Well, that's good news at least. We got an order. We're not, we're not taking it, but we got an order. I always get a little nervous when you come out and you don't get nothing in the first, you know, 10 minutes. It gets a little, a little rough. I get very impatient. You crazy. $5 from Chipotle to go 7.5. So it's been 10 minutes since I fired up this camera. Two horrible offers in 10 minutes. That's another problem of dashing during the daytime. People are cheaper during the day. I don't know why. You're going to get 10 orders possibly. 
Two of them will be normal, basic orders. One might be a banger, and the rest of them, you're just going to decline and wonder why they even bothered sending them out. You know, why not add something to the tiers, too? Like, if you're platinum, and every fifth order you do in a row, you get a $5 bonus or something. They need to do monetary bonuses, and not, not like games, either. I'm, I'm talking about, like, I don't want to be like, here's an order for $5 to go one mile, and you got this big order because you're a platinum dasher. No, I'm talking about there needs to be monetary reasons behind you know, be behind being in a, a platinum tier, gold tier, or whatever, silver tier. What are you doing for me to make me want to take more orders? Like, I'd be much more inclined to take your, your horrible upside down orders if I knew, well, if I complete five of these horrible upside down orders, I'll get an extra five bucks or 10 bucks or whatever it is, and that will make it worth my time. We got an order for the Highland House. $11 for 11.4 miles. Best order I had so far, and I'm heading that direction. So I'm gonna take it for now. What do you guys think of this tiered system that they do on DoorDash? Uh, does it actually affect you, do you think? Do you think the AR actually means anything in today's DoorDash besides the ability to dash now? I really don't know. Well, while we're driving, I just got an Uber Eats order to go 10 miles for $9.11. 911. Yeah, that is an emergency, but I am not taking it. Here we are, guys, at the Highland House. Gonna run in and pick up the food. According to the app, it's already ready. Let's see if I can bring you in with me. Uh, I forgot to tell you guys, uh, so it looks like we're picking up one item at the Highland House. It's coconut shrimp with two sides of broccoli. So $11 to deliver some coconut shrimp. Let's go inside. I got a DoorDash. Okay, I'll go check. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. We got the coconut shrimp. We're gonna tuck it away in here and get on our way. One of the things they don't tell you about DoorDash when you sign up for it, some of this food reeks. This shrimp smells like, sh and then your, uh, your hot bag will smell for the next couple hours. Your whole car will smell for a couple hours. You know, one thing that makes me nauseous is the smell of Five Guys French fries. I don't know. It's just it, <laughs> nauseating when you think about it. Stuff just reeks up your car. Leave at my door, put on chair in the garage. I don't know, man. Why do I have to go in? Why do I have to go in someone's garage? A leave at door should be leaving at their door. There should be no other hoops to jump through. Well, guys, if you don't see another video from me, actually, you probably wouldn't even see this video. That means I'm stuck in this guy's garage, and I'm probably in a well putting the lotion on my skin. God, it smells, like, so bad. I don't mind some shrimp, but... Be stinky. 
What are some of your stinky, stinkiest foods you gotta deliver? God, oh my God. This is pretty bad. I'm gonna have to air this car out when I'm done. Dude, here, smell it. I'm telling you, smell it. There should be extra pay in this delivery just for dealing with the smell. Getting closer to that order of uh, going into this person's garage. I expect to walk into the garage and see Jigsaw sitting there from the Saw movies. He'd be like, do you want to play a game? I'm like, no, I don't. I have enough, enough going on in my life of just trying to deal with DoorDash. The key is buried inside of my eye. You have to cut it out in the next minute in order to get your tip. All right, guys, we're here. I can, the garage door is open, so I don't have to go in it, I don't think, but let's go. Stinky shrimp is now out of my vehicle and in their garage. So once I get on this road here, we're gonna air out this guy and roll these windows down. Stink, stink, stink. Get out, smell. Be gone, demons. I gotta air out this bag though. Here, it's all stuck in there. <coughs> Order to go to the Daily Taco for $8.10 to go 9.7 miles. Oh, I tell you, I'm not taking that order because that's going away from where I want to go, I believe. That's what's crazy about right now. It's 4.16. And it's already starting to, like, get dark out. We're losing light fast. I got a message from the last order I delivered to into the garage. And they said, thank you, with five exclamation marks. So that's pretty cool. Definitely prefer the added tips afterwards. But I will always take the uh, em emphatic thank you for the job I did for them. And they didn't lock me in their basement and throw me in the well. We are one hour in. We've had four total orders and taken one. So, I mean, whatever. It is what it is. Typical daytime dashing. Hit or miss. You either get it all or you get nothing. I had this dash scheduled for another two hours yet. Usually it starts cranking up right as I want to crank down. <laughs> but let's let's see if we can get some more orders here before it gets dark out with you guys. Something that's not upside down. Every order's been upside down. I just took this one because it was a dollar. I just took the last one because it was a dollar per mile, but it's still upside down at the end of the day. Um, Getting five orders in an hour is actually not too bad, but like it, it doesn't matter at the end of the day unless those orders are worth taking. I probably shouldn't have taken the Highland House order for 11, but I just, I wanted to do something. And it was, like I said, the only one that was one to one mileage, but at the end of the day, it ends up being a, a bad order because I didn't get a, an order on the way back. Just give me a nice, easy order, anything. I don't have to drive a gazillion miles for and wait around for two hours. Eight dollars for four miles. Let's do that. Let's find something like that. That's a that's a perfectly fine order. And now we wait.
A DoorDash wouldn't be too bad of a gig if you got paid to sit here when you're doing nothing. I'm going to put in the secret code that someone gave me. They said it's guaranteed to give me 30 orders. So let's try it here. Some of you guys from the 80s that grew up in the 80s might know this one. It's up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, B-A, start. Looks like I unlocked the new tier, guys. It's the invisible tier where you, you pretend you're door dashing. I'm LARPing right now. I'm a door dash LARPer. I come into battle with my bag. Still sitting here waiting on an order. It's a good chance I may not get one. Who knows? Now that I am a partner with YouTube, it does allow for me to activate, I believe, super chats and super stickers. If any of you feel the, the want to support the channel uh, through uh, any of those means, go right ahead. That anything would be appreciated. Nothing, nothing is necessary, like always. Uh, you know, it's just an option for you guys, and anything you guys want to do for the channel is appreciated. Uh, the, the number one thing you guys do for me anyways is, is show up, and that's all I can really ask of you anyways at the end of the day. There's also memberships, but I am not turning on any kind of membership because I have nothing for you to be a member of unless you just want to be a member to say you're a member. If any of you want me to do that, I'll do that, but I'm not planning on turning it on. I'm going to film the outro now, hoping that it spurs an order. But I want to thank everyone again for spending time with me, watching the content, interacting down in the comment section. All right, well, I'm going to cross my fingers that we get some more action here tonight as the sun gets closer and closer to setting. But for this evening, I wanted to make a video, like I said, most of all, to say thank you to everyone that has been supporting the channel. You guys are truly awesome, and I'm glad to have you with me. Uh, no matter where this thing goes, uh, we will always try to keep it fun. Unfortunately, you guys know how it goes, though. All good things must come to an end. Until next time.